<laughs> wow, this seems oddly familiar. It's almost like it's the exact template that Bop uses for its most recent intros. It's almost like they completely copied off Bop. It's almost like- Blame Mike, I swear to god, it was all Mike. He made the fucking intro, just blame Mike. I, I didn't have anything to do with it. Does it really matter who made the intro? You still kept it in, so you're still to blame. So no you. Now, here's a funny question. Kanye West. This won't be that much of a comedic commentary given the subject matter at hand. So yeah, this will be mostly serious. First of all, do you really have to make it clear that a video about school shootings is going to be serious? I don't know, did Richard and Zampano have to do the same thing when they were making a video about victim blaming? Um, by the way, this is just a quick of a disclaimer. Um, this commentary is going to be serious, and we're going to try our best to put in some jokes, but most of the time, this commentary is actually going to be a serious commentary. Exactly. Liking a video and subscribing to every idea the video makes are not the same thing. Case in point, Wave. Yes, my Wave brought a point against Ryan's commentary, it still gave the video a like. So yeah, when you find proof that Ryan agreed with Zavano's point there, give me a call. Either way, that really doesn't destroy the fact that being serious does not mean a sacrifice in comedy. As long as the jokes doesn't ruin the mood of the point and or is placed in an area where your point isn't really that serious, then you don't need to make the video less com- Give me Kanye. I only said mostly serious. Which is something Ryan acknowledged in the very next cutaway. What up? Jason Murray here. Done. Over. Click. Off. HA! You wish. Happening in America. With how you said that line, it sounds like you're trying to talk about how annoying your neighbor's dogs are or something. Are you serious? You followed up a statement of you say that this commentary is going to be more serious and less jokey with not one, but two jokes. One being a pointless cameo and the other one being a generic one-liner. Sure, you said mostly serious, but it's rather poor placement. Okay, the first statement, that was joke. The second one, that wasn't a joke. In fact, it was there to point out just his tone of voice in the video. How you deliver your line can affect how seriously it'll be taken. Having recently made this mistake, I should know this plenty. Doesn't help that, in combination with this delivery, the comparison itself could be seen as hyperbole. It may not have been intended as a joke, but Ryan's not at fault for taking it as one. Also, you said there shouldn't be a sacrifice in comedy, yet you're whining, Oh, they're making jokes! I mean, make up your mind, man! We literally just came off Ryan saying that the jokes were ill-timed. It's not you making jokes, it's you paying attention. Like... They really don't need to happen. All that, all that's doing is, you know, making people feel bad and all that stuff, you know? Wow. Just wow. Talk about a generic statement. And trust me, guys, it gets worse from here. Okay, what part of that statement was quote-unquote generic? Why was it generic? Define generic. Why'd you stop the video just to point out that it's generic? Explain your points, man! It makes you come off less lazy! Maybe it's not really specific and can be applied to anything? Wow, that sounds like an actually decent point that you could have made in the original commentary. Now, quick question, why didn't you make it in the original commentary? You know, when Ryan told you guys about poorly worded arguments, he at least explained why they were. Ironically, that's exactly what Ill and I guys skipped. Okay, you do get a point because there is no school involved, though the fact he's a university student could help a bit, but that's a different story since, again, this goes back to your poor wording. You asked how it supported his argument in any way. Well, here's your answer. Was there a gun? Was there people killed with said gun? Yeah, sure, two out of three of the requirements, but it supports him in some way. Are you fucking kidding me? No, he's not. <laughs> Seriously, the bloody bank robbery comparison you make is dumb because people are still killed by guns. Doesn't this prove Ryan's or Jason's point? And then we had the Sandy Hook shooting back in 2012 also. I I'll say that's probably one of the most deadliest shootings that that's ever happened. So, and then this year we had the Elliot Rogers shooting back in May of 2014. 
Also, you gotta love the fact that he only named shootings that got national attention. He was giving examples. E-X-A-M-P-L-E-S. Look it up! It's almost common knowledge that when presenting a point, you bring up the most popular example so people instantly follow along with your point, and you can explain said point quick and simple. If he listed all the school shootings that didn't get much attention, we'd be here all day. That wasn't even the point we were trying to get at. The point was we had a problem that he was only naming ones that got national attention. I mean, did we expect him to name every school shooting? No. Did we want more than just popular ones? Yeah. Not to mention it probably could have strengthened his argument. I don't see how using only popular examples is a bad thing, given that they're still good examples. And hey, at least he's giving examples, which none of you three did in the original commentary. I have Asperger's Syndrome, but do I think about murdering people? No. I told this to Dinosaur Junior Freak 01, and I'm gonna tell you too. Stop being tapioca pudding. Also, way to generalize other people with Asperger's, you jerk. Wait, how is he generalizing people with Asperger's when his main point was that not all people with Asperger's want to kill people using himself as an example? I cannot compute with your logic. Okay, see, Rhino, this is why you watch the original video. His point wasn't that not a... Not all people with Asperger just want to kill people. I mean, he even said in the video, some people say school shootings are because of Asperger's. And quite frankly, that statement sounded like, hey, I don't, I don't do it, but hey, other people with Asperger's do it. See, this is why, this is exactly why you watch the original video. Two things. One, if he claims to have Asperger's and doesn't want to cause school shootings, that would imply that he's going against the argument that some people claim that school shootings are linked to Asperger's. And two, why should we go back to the original video? If you leave out what could be a key detail in going against your argument, that should be on your head, not the head of the person who's commentating on you. Oh, and also, yeah, ignore my point where I said it's you, not everyone is like you, because no you. Yo, you're not allowed to say that. That's my job, bitch. I played... A few violent video games- WHOA! Hold it right there, Glenn Beck! Video games do not cause violence, nor is there a study that proves so. Okay, Jacob, you've proven you're awful with words and understanding, so let me walk you through this. Nowhere, in his sentence, did he say games caused violence. In fact, his point was saying the exact opposite! You know what, I probably should have left the whole thing in the video. In that case, why did you tell us to look up the original video when he was bringing up his Asperger's? <laughs> Shouldn't matter if it's from an outsider's perspective, saying suck it up in this regard still makes you look like an arrogant cunt. I cannot not understand you because your audio editing is crap! I can hear him perfectly! Your audio editing still blows, please fix it. The most offensive video I have ever seen in my entire life. Jesus, all he did was just repeat that school shooting is bad. How is that offensive? This is coming from the same guy that got extremely pissed when Flippy did that video about victim blaming. And also, let's apply your logic. Flippy was just making a generic commentary on someone who did a video on victim blaming. And you got incredibly mad. You see, it's not that he just made a video about school shootings, it's HOW he carried out. Well, HOW did he carry it out that made it so offensive? I mean, sure, Jason wasn't the most professional person to talk about the topic, but it's not like he was saying the school shootings were good or anything. And it's not like Flippy, where he was telling his audience that the people who committed illegal activities against their victims were okay because the victims edged them on when they really weren't. Also, that commentary of Ryan's is a few months old now. Maybe Ryan learned a thing or two since then. Ever thought about that? And quite frankly, I think Jake explained it best. Saying that people are, quote, feeling bad when school shootings happen is just sickening. How? Maybe you would get your answer if you stopped cutting him off. Well, are you gonna give us the rest of that answer? I'm not gonna show the rest of this because... No way, that would be way too much fucking work for you. You see that Jake explains a point perfectly, yet you don't show the rest of Jake's explanation. 
whether or not Ryan is right or wrong about it is unrelated. You say it's perfect, yet you don't show the rest of it. Good job. Uh, this was bad. Was it the worst thing? No, I can think of a lot of commentaries that have been a lot worse than this one. But, I mean, aside from that, I mean, you basically ignore a lot of our points. How so? By skipping or by not acknowledging a point when he covered it in the video? If the latter, examples, please. If the former, you skipped several times during this video. Fucking hypocrite. And also, you defend Jason Murray Jr. You defended someone who has called everyone that's given him criticism bullies, whether it be in the comments or commentaries. I mean, everything else, I mean, that wasn't bad, but that that's just the worst part. So apparently, the worst part about Ryan's commentary is not that he may have made some wrong point or anything, but the fact that he defended a guy Ellen I guy didn't like. Oh, never mind the fact that maybe some of the comments thrown at Jason were complete bullshit. No, the worst part about Ryan's commentary is that he defended Jason Murray Jr. And if you do the same thing, well, that'll be the worst part of your commentary. Defending Jason Murray Jr. Hey, I have this brilliant idea. Let's blame Jason for the Sandy Hook shootings. What's that? He didn't have any connection to those shootings? Well, we're not going to defend him because that'll be the worst part about our videos. The fact that we defend Jason Murray Jr. If this is how you acted towards Jason, then no wonder he's treating every one of his detractors like cyber bullies. Because that's what you are. A bunch of bullies. Yes, we're doing another commentary, and it's on Ryan Rhino Mills, of all people. I honestly didn't think I'd ever have to do a commentary on Ryan. And, he, well, it's his commentary on, well, the try-up commentary that I recently did. And let's just get into the problems right away. And by problems, he means, oh, you know the obvious butter joke was coming. By the way, I'm going to be skipping most of the beginning except for one part. And to fit the completely edgy tone they end up going for and the fact that there's three of them, I change all their avatars to Shadow the Hedgehog, New Dante, and since I can't use Ryuko, American Kirby. Well, in that case, ta-da! Wait, are we changing people's avatars now? Oh, in that case, then you're Sam Smith. <laughs> Stupid face being high at the Grammys. This won't be that much of a comedic commentary given the subject matter at hand. So yeah, this will be mostly serious. First of all, do you really have to make it clear that a video about school shootings is going to be serious? I don't know, did Richard and Zampano have to do the same thing when they were making a video about victim blaming? Well, maybe Ryan had a problem with Zampano and Richard doing that too. Did you think of that? And even then, what was the point of that? If it's because Ryan is friends with Zupano and Richard? Boy, are you one to make assumptions. I wonder if it will continue on in the video. I was joking! Either way, that really doesn't destroy the fact that being serious does not mean a sacrifice in comedy. As long as the joke doesn't ruin the mood of the point and or is placed in an area where your point isn't really that serious, then you don't need to make the video less com- Give me Kanye. I only said mostly serious, I didn't say, There's gonna be no humor in- No, just- Just stop. What up? Jason Murray here. Done. Over. Click. Off. HA! You wish. Happening in America. With how you said that line, it sounds like you're trying to talk about how annoying your neighbor's dogs are or something. Are you serious? You followed up a statement of you say that this commentary is going to be more serious and less jokey with not one, but two jokes. One being a pointless cameo and the other one being a generic one-liner. Sure, you said mostly serious, but it's rather poor placement. Okay, the first statement, that was joke. The second one, that wasn't a joke. In fact, it was there to point out just his tone of voice in the video. Honestly, from his tone of voice, I honestly couldn't tell if he was. And even then, from how over the top the hyperbole he used, no wonder Ryan was getting mixed messages. 
Shit, what if Silver did intend that to be a joke? Did you even ask him? Or are you just lying through your teeth and is just saying that to try to make Ryan look bad? Also, you said there shouldn't be a sacrifice in comedy, yet you're whining. Oh, they're making jokes. I mean, make up your mind, man. Uh, did you not understand what Ryan said? His point was that saying that this commentary was going to be more serious than your other commentaries, but then followed it up with two jokes at the beginning, it kind of made yourselves look like huge hypocrites. Hell, throughout the entire video, your attempt to be super serious is total bullshit from the way you present yourselves throughout the video. If you don't believe me, just watch the original video, or even Ryan's commentary. Like, they really don't need to happen. All that's doing is, you know, making people feel bad and all that stuff, you know? Wow. Just wow. Talk about a generic statement. And trust me, guys. It gets worse from here. Okay, what part of that statement was quote-unquote generic? Why was it generic? Define generic. Why'd you stop the video just to point out that it's generic? Explain your points, man! It makes you come off less lazy! Maybe it's not really specific and can be applied to anything. For instance, a flat tire. All that, all that's doing is... You know, making people feel bad. Huh. That was actually a legitimate point. Well, then why the hell didn't you add that in the original video? I mean, if you are trying not to explain everything to the audience, then I can understand. But if you are trying to prove someone wrong, don't just say something in a one-off manner without backing yourselves up in the first place. And don't give me the, oh, well, I said it in the commentary on Ryan. Because just saying it after the fact doesn't excuse it from beforehand. A stubbed toe. All that, all that's doing is, you know, making people feel bad. Do you see where I'm... What? What? What are you trying to say? You'll see where I'm gonna kick the shin on the dog? What did the dog do to you? He's like, what, did he kill your family? Are you just a fucking asshole to that dog? Why are you a fucking asshole to that dog? And do dogs even have shins? You'll see me where I'm having a baby? Do you even have the right reproductive systems to do that? You'll see me where I'm... What? What? Explain to me, you child cover- Dude, that wasn't a school shooting! How does that way in any way strengthen any argument you've had thus far? Okay, you do get a point because there is no school involved, though the fact he's a university student could help a bit, but that's a different story since, again, this goes back to your poor wording. You asked how it supported his argument in any way. Well, here's your answer. Was there a gun? Was there people killed with said gun? Yeah, sure, two out of three of the requirements, but it supports him in some way. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Two out of three? Oh yeah, it supports his claim, even though it didn't... I mean, you even admit it didn't take place at a school. Are you fucking stupid? Aww, did the mean old Ryan rustle your jimmies? Oh, come here. Uncle David will take you to go get ice cream to make everything all better. Anyways, I will give you that. Ryan really shouldn't have defended that part where Jason went off topic, but you are aware that the point was that despite the Aurora shooting not taking place at a school, it still doesn't change the fact that it was a tragic mass shooting. Okay, I went a little too far on that, but... Really? Okay, you know what? Let's apply that anywhere else. You don't really have to. I get what you're trying to say. Okay, there's a bank robbery, but a bloody bank robbery. Were there guns involved? Yes. Were there deaths? Yes. Did place take place at school? No, but two out of three works, right? Okay, I don't really see why repeating what you've said will make your point stronger, but whatevs, let's just move. Or how about something a little more down to earth? Okay, I get it. Ryan done goofed. Please stop dragging this point on. You got a bike. Does it have a frame? Yes. Does it have a chain? Yes. Does it have wheels? No. Oh my god, shut the fuck And then we had the Sandy Hook shooting back in 2012 also. I I'll say that's probably one of the most deadliest shootings that that's ever happened. So, and then this year we had the Elliot Rogers shooting back in May of 2014. 
Also, you gotta love the fact that he only named shootings that got national attention. He was giving examples. E-X-A-M-P-L-E-S. Look it up! It's almost common knowledge that when presenting a point, you bring up the most popular example so people instantly follow along with your point, and you can explain said point quick and simple. If he listed all the school shootings that didn't get much attention, we'd be here all day. That wasn't even the point we were trying to get at. The point was we had a problem that he was only naming ones that got national attention. I mean, did we expect him to name every school shooting? No. Did we want more than just popular ones? Yeah. The that doesn't make any sense. Like, so what if he listed well-known school shootings? Does it strengthen his argument if he name-dropped an obscure one? No! Does him naming the popular ones weaken his video? Honestly, saying that implies that his video was good to begin with, but no! Are you just saying that as some kind of hipster thing? Like, are you just mad that he said mass shootings that are oh so mainstream? In fact, is that even a thing that hipsters complain about? Like, ugh, my mainstream conformist teacher was telling me about level three lockdowns by bringing up the Virginia Tech shooting. God, why does he have to be such a conformist? Ugh, why can't he just bring up the Dizzy Dry Ice bombing of 2013? Fucking Nickelback fan. My God, what is wrong with you people? Not to mention, it probably could have strengthened his argument. How? Like he said before, it doesn't strengthen his argument if he mentioned an obscure one since the example he gave worked. Well, one sort of did, but anyways, please, explain why naming an obscure mass shooting does in any way benefit Jason. Hey, you brought it up, you tell me why. What, 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 what's that? What's that? You can't? Well, you know what? Just fine. Go back to your hipster corner drinking your hipster coffee and listening to your Neutral Milk Hotel. <laughs> also, way to generalize other people with Asperger's, you jerk. Wait, how is he generalizing people with Asperger's when his main point was that not all people with Asperger's want to kill people using himself as an example? I cannot compute with your logic. Okay, see, Rhino, this is why you watch the original video. And you're implying that he hasn't. That's not a, not all people with Asperger just want to kill people. I mean, he even said in the video, some people say school shootings are because of Asperger's. And quite frankly, that statement sounded like, hey, I don't, I don't do it, but hey, other people with Asperger's do it. See, this is why, this is exactly why you watch the original video. Oh, and also, yeah, ignore my point where I said, it's you, not everyone is like you, because, no you. Oh my god, this guy is so fucking dense. Two things. One, this doesn't have anything to do with this video, but your commentary and Jason. But as someone who does have Asperger's, I don't appreciate you defending me when I can clearly do it by my damn self. I don't need you coming in to be my knight in shining armor. What I'm basically trying to say is Ernie went full Macintosh. You never go full Macintosh. Two, Ryan was right. You are wrong. Deal with it. When Jason brought up that he has Asperger's, he wasn't saying it as the way of LOOK AT ME! As his point was that he has Asperger's, but that doesn't mean that he will willingly kill a bunch of students because of it. You even said this too! He even said in the video, some people say school shootings are because of Asperger's. I don't see how you can point out your own mistakes and yet still try to make Ryan look bad. That's one big dick fucking move right there, good sir. I congratulate you. I played a few violent video games. Whoa! Hold it right there, Glenn Beck! Video games do not cause violence, nor is there a study that proves so. Okay, Jacob, you've proven you're awful with words and understanding, so let me walk you through this. Nowhere in his sentence did he say games caused violence. In fact, his point was saying the exact opposite. You know what, I probably should have left the whole thing in the video, but you know what, Rhino, since you clearly didn't even bother, you know, trying to watch the original, here's the whole thing. Well, I know that I done goofed and probably should have put that in the video before, but you're so retarded. You feel me, bro? Eh, you know what, screw it. This was literally 
the most offensive video I have ever seen in my entire life. Jesus, all he did was just repeat that school shooting is bad. How is that offensive? This is coming from the same guy that got extremely pissed when Flippy did that video about victim blaming. Something which Ryan admits he overreacted to. And even then, Ryan was justified because Flippy was saying how the victims were at fault while ignoring the criminals that did the crime to the victim. All Jason did was say that school shootings are bad. I mean, yeah, I will agree with you that Jason did come off shallow and rather insensitive. Almost like the same way a rant on bullying is. But come on! That's like comparing an apple to a vacuum cleaner and saying they're the same thing. Saying that people are, quote, feeling bad when school shootings happen is just sickening. How? Maybe you would get your answer if you stopped cutting him off. Yes, you do have a point. Commentators shouldn't cut people off before they finish their points. Here is what Ryan had to say. Like, seriously, how? I mean, people do feel bad when shootings happen. I mean, forgive me if I'm wrong, but most, if not all, of these people who get killed in school shootings have people who cared about them. Wouldn't that make people feel bad? I mean, this really boggles me. Mm, yes, more hypocrisy. And also... You defend Jason Murray Jr. You defended someone who has called everyone that's given him criticism bullies, whether it be in the comments or commentaries. I mean, everything else. I mean, that wasn't bad, but that that's just the worst part. Defending someone who calls everyone who gives him criticism bullies. It, really, it, it was one of the dumbest things you could do. So, just because someone made a commentary on a commentary on a rant, that means that they are defending the actions of the person? It, y you know what? I'm convinced. This guy is really an idiot. Like, like, seriously. I believe this guy was born with the lowest IQ points imaginable. Just because someone made a commentary on a commentary on someone, that doesn't mean that they are defending that person. Like, when I and Hero did that commentary on that top worst YouTube list, we weren't defending the actions of Philip DeFranco or Nisian, or at least I sure as hell wasn't. Or when Master TV 10 did that commentary on that one Sonic Recolor who did that commentary on that fat Christian who believed that the Earth was centered around the universe, he wasn't defending that guy either. Basically what I'm trying to say is what you are saying is stupid. And then he ends the video. Whatever. Final thoughts, I've seen worse videos. But holy crap, you were pissed! Like, making a joke about how the WAMBULANCE would have been an understatement. You took so many of what Ryan said the wrong way, or you were just mad someone had the GALL to critique you, so you tried as hard as you can to make yourself look good. Now, you usually might say something snarky at your face, but I decided not to. Instead, I'm gonna give you a little bit of, I guess, advice on how to do commentaries, because I did see a lot of Ernie's other commentaries, and well, they're not as bad as this one or this triop commentary. <sighs> to be honest, they were just boring, like really boring. You need to be more engaged and less dull as all get out. And you need to seriously think about what videos you are going to commentate on and ask if it's really worth it. Because finding a bad video does not mean that you do have to commentate on it. There needs to be points to it than just trying way too hard to make the person you're commentating on look bad. And this doesn't go by Ryan's video, but also Jason's video too. Again, Jason's video was bad, I will give you that, but that doesn't mean that it's good material to commentate on. If you want to make serious commentaries, that's fine and good, but at least have good critiques, or at least find a video that's bad, but can also have good enough ideas for jokes. And while I doubt that you'll pull this again, don't take every video on US personal attacks, because really, what makes a commentary worthless in my eyes is that they cannot be open to know that they can't take criticism. You can dish it, but you should also take it. And to fit the completely edgy tone they end up going for and the fact that there's three of them, I change all their avatars to Shadow the Hedgehog, New Dante, and since I can't use Ryuko, American Kirby. Well, in that case...
Ta-da! Yeah, considering that I fucking hate the avatar Ernie picked for Ryan, I'm gonna restore Ryan's commentary back to its original form. You guys will thank me later when you decide that you want to watch Ernie's commentary on Ryan. Like, they really don't need to happen. All that, all that's doing is, you know, making people feel bad and all that stuff, you know? Wow. Just wow. Talk about a generic statement. And trust me, guys, it gets worse from here. Okay, what part of that statement was quote-unquote generic? Why was it generic? Define generic. Why'd you stop the video just to point out that it's generic? Explain your points, man! It makes you come off less lazy! Maybe it's not really specific and can be applied to anything? Okay, I brought this up multiple times in my last commentary on you when you didn't explain certain aspects of your journal that I commentated on. So I'm going to expand on that point more since you clearly still have issues explaining things. The reason why you need to explain why you feel a certain way about someone or something when you're making a point in commentaries or even debates for that matter is so that not only can your audience understand the point you're trying to make more easily, but it also gives substance to your point. If you don't give some form of specific details to your point, no one can understand what the fuck you're trying to say or the context behind your point, thus making your point completely invalid and unsubstantial from the very get-go. Dude, that wasn't a school shooting! How does that way in any way strengthen any argument you've had thus far? Okay, you do get a point because there is no school involved, though the fact he's a university student could help a bit, but that's a different story since, again, this goes back to your poor wording. You asked how it supported his argument in any way. Well, here's your answer. Was there a gun? Was there people killed with said gun? Yeah, sure, two out of three of the requirements, but it supports him in some way. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Two out of three? Oh, yeah, it supports his claim, even though it didn't... You even admit it didn't take place at a school. Are you fucking stupid? Okay, I went a little too far on that. I went too far, yet I decided to leave it in the video anyway. Well, this doesn't actually surprise me that much since you have shown that you're a lazy fucking editor. But, really? Okay, you know what? Let's apply that anywhere else. Okay, there's a bank robbery, but a bloody bank robbery. Were there guns involved? Yes. Were there deaths? Yes, did place take place at a school? No, but two out of three works, right? Or how about something a little more down to earth? You got a bike. Does it have a frame? Yes. Does it have a chain? Yes. Does it have wheels? No. But two out of three is still good, right? Yeah, if you can somehow ride a bike without wheels. How the fuck is that even directly related to what Ryan was trying to say? He was explaining how the Aurora shouldn't supported Jason's argument in any way possible. So allow me to strengthen Ryan's point by asking a simple question. What category of murder does the Aurora shouldn't fall under? Mass murder. What category of murder does school shootings fall under? Say it with me now. Mass murder. There you go. That's how the Aurora shooting is connected to school shootings in general. They both fall under the category of mass murder. Thus, the Aurora shooting is comparable to school shootings in that regard. Also, you gotta love the fact that he only named shootings that got national attention. He was giving examples. E-X-A-M-P-L-E-S. Look it up! It's almost common knowledge that when presenting a point, you bring up the most popular example so people instantly follow along with your point, and you can explain said point quick and simple. If he listed all the school shootings that didn't get much attention, we'd be here all day. That wasn't even the point we were trying to get at. The point was we had a problem that he was only... Naming ones that got national attention. I mean, did we expect him to name every school shooting? No. Did we want more than just popular ones? Yeah. Not to mention it probably could have strengthened his argument. What difference does it make? People were shot either way. People were killed either way. It's tragic either way. I really really don't understand your line of thinking here, or how it makes a difference for you either way. I have Asperger's Syndrome, but do I think about murdering people? No. I told this to Dinosaur Junior Freak 01, 
and I'm gonna tell you to. Stop being tapioca pudding. Also, way to generalize other people with Asperger's, you jerk. Wait, how is he generalizing people with Asperger's when his main point was that not all people with Asperger's want to kill people using himself as an example? I cannot compute with your logic. Okay, see, Rhino, this is why you watch the original video. His point wasn't that not a... Not all people with Asperger just want to kill people. I mean, he even said in the video, some people say school shootings are because of Aspergers. And quite frankly, that statement sounded like, hey, I don't, I don't do it, but hey, other people with Aspergers do it. See, this is why, this is exactly why you watch the original video. When Jason said, some people say that school shootings happen because of Asperger's, he said that so he could prove that claim to be entirely false by following that statement up with, I have Asperger's, but do I think about killing people? No! Where in either statements is he saying or indicating that other people with Asperger's think about shooting people aside from himself? He never said that, nor did he indicate that. In fact, he actually said and indicated the exact opposite. Ernie! My god! Your logic is really boggling me right now. Like, really? All you're doing is putting words into his mouth, so it seems like he said something when he actually never said that thing or even indicated it in any way, shape, or form. I played a few violent video games. Whoa! Hold it right there, Glenn Beck! Video games do not cause violence, nor is there a study that proves so. Okay, Jacob, you've proven you're awful with words and understanding, so let me walk you through this. Nowhere in his sentence did he say games caused violence. In fact, his point was saying the exact opposite. You know what, I probably should have left the whole thing in the video, but you know what, Rhino? Since you clearly didn't even bother, you know, trying to watch the original, Here's the whole thing. I play a few violent video games like Grand Theft Auto, Mortal Kombat, etc. But do I think about killing people? No, I don't. Quite frankly, it comes off as him saying, Oh, I play violent video games, but I don't do that. But y y you know what? Other people do it. You have got to be fucking shitting me! He never said or indicated that people would want to start shootings because of video games. In fact, he said the exact fucking opposite. Either you have an extreme lack of understanding, or you're intentionally putting words into Jason's mouth to make it appear that you're in the right when you're really not. Also saying, well that's how he came off, is not a valid argument because that's not the same as ACTUALLY saying something. You know what? Let's play that part again. What is happening to the world right now, man? For real. Reality's a bitch sometimes. Just gotta suck it up. Oh yeah! Saying suck it up in response to Jason saying, What's going on in the world? For real. Totally sounds like Mike was saying that from an outside perspective, even though that sounded like a direct response to what Jason said. Thus, it came off as if you were actually telling people to suck it up. But as for your point about Ryan's point about the news, yeah, you're right. It was completely pointless and added nothing despite the fact that it actually proved your point wrong, concerned that you don't need the news to find out about the shootings since people are going to talk about it anyways. This was literally the most offensive video I have ever seen in my entire life. Jesus, all he did was just repeat that school shooting is bad. How is that offensive? This is coming from the same guy that got extremely pissed when Flippy did that video about victim blaming. Josh, you're, you're acting like that. Gee, jokingly saying that is the bane of everybody's existence. Okay, since you apparently have an extreme lack of understanding, allow me to walk you through the difference between Flippy's commentary on Lacey Green and Jason's rant on school shootings. With Flippy's commentary, he was trying to say that women deserve to get raped and harassed for the way they dressed and taken nude photos of themselves. And on top of that, he literally said that women didn't know any better. He was saying that the female gender as a whole didn't know any better. 
Flippy would get shit no matter how he carried out that commentary due to how extremely sexist and fucking misogynistic his thoughts on victim blaming was towards women. With Jason's rant, it is literally him talking about why school shootings are bad and why it needs to stop due to how it affects people. The closest thing to a piece of criticism I could think of for the video was the fact that he used a camcorder and the video itself wasn't particularly interesting for my taste. But aside from that, there's really nothing offensive about Jason's video in any way, shape, or form, since he never actually said anything wrong, unlike Flippy. The problem is not Jason himself. It's you, since you're the one just putting words into his mouth and blowing things out of proportion. Saying that people are, quote, feeling bad when school shootings happen is just sickening. How? Maybe you would get your answer if you stopped cutting him off. I'm not gonna show the rest of this because, quite frankly, it's just, oh, <laughs> you're getting mad at some when I've already shown he's gotten mad at video, so it makes him look like a complete hippo. Okay, then allow me to play what he said since you actually cut out a really important point that Ryan made. How? Like, seriously, how? I mean, people do feel bad when shootings happen. I mean, forgive me if I'm wrong, but most, if not all, of these people who get killed in school shootings have people who cared about them. Wouldn't that make people feel bad? I mean, this really boggles me. Do I even need to explain why this is a problem? I don't think so, because I think I trust my audience enough to have enough information to put two and two together and come to realize that Ernie was so full of shit here. You basically ignore a lot of our points. Oh, the dramatic irony. The dramatic irony. And also, you defend Jason Murray Jr. So in other words, you're pissed off at Ryan because Ryan made the choice to not blindly agree with what you had to say. Yeah, that, that seems totally fucking legit. You defended someone who has called everyone that's given him criticism bullies. The three of you, yourself just turning 20, ganged up on Jason, a 15-year-old kid with points that were invalid on the most fundamental level possible, and did your best to make him look and feel as badly as possible. And not only that, but Jim99, who is 21 years of age, made a comment on your triop pretty much linking his channel, not the original video that the original tryout was on because that video was deleted before Jim made the comment, but a link to his channel and openly encouraged other people to gang up on the kid on his channel for something he did not do. How the fuck is that not considered bullying? You know what? I'm gonna end the video right here. It's time for my final thoughts. Ernie? This is now the third time we've had this problem with you getting angry over criticism you have received and doing something stupid as a result, ranging from false flagging Clay and Evan's co-op commentary on you along with Evan's commentary on the same video as the co-op, to deleting your review on Bob and making a follow-up journal pretty much saying that no one in Bob can take in criticism after Bob criticized your review on them, which to be fair was poorly executed to now making a poorly executed commentary on Ryan because you did not like what Ryan had to say about the tryout commentary you made. I highly suggest that you reevaluate how you make your commentaries and consider approving on certain aspects of your commentary such as how you handle criticism towards your commentary and how you represent the arguments of those you commentate on because our, your commentary style is in desperate need of reevaluation. Like, holy god. But if this is how you're going to continue taking in criticism on top of putting words into people's mouth and making claims that someone said something that is factually wrong, as I pointed out in this commentary, then at that point I think commentaries are just not for you and you should just throw in the towel for your commentary series. Hopefully it won't come to that, but if it does, then my point still stands that you should in fact throw in the towel for your commentary series.